You too! Kit. Ooh. Oh, this is the perfect music to talk to. Okay, uh... <coughs> John Morant! Listen, this uh, video is not really gonna... Y'all know I don't talk about celebrities a lot. But the only people I have talked about is... In fact, what makes this a John Morant, Doja Cat, Jojo, um, what's her name? Jojo Swoji? Hold on, let me see. look at her right quick before we start this video. Jojo Siwa. S Siwa. Yeah. We'll call her Joelle Joni. Okay. Jojo Siwa. Yeah, okay. Hold on, let me see something. All right, hold on. Let me listen to this video. Okay, JoJo Siwa. <coughs> We're gonna be talking about John Morant, JoJo Siwa, Siwa, and uh, Sam Smith and Doja Cat. What do they have in common? Young, beautiful, rich, in the public eye. See, what these people are going through is what we all go through, but we don't have to do it in front of a camera. John Morant, we'll start with him number one. John Morant got caught again with the gun. Um, after he had already been suspended for eight games, um, he got caught with the gun again in an IG live, messing around with his friends. I think at some point, and this is what I said about hip hop. If y'all want to go watch that video on hip hop, um, maybe I'll put it down in the description. If I don't, just scroll down and just, you know, scroll down to my videos. It's the one where I talk about hip hop. Uh, he he listens to a lot of young uh, NBA. Uh, NBA young boy, right? He, I'm sure he listens to other rappers too. But the the rap culture always makes us want to feel tough. When you listen to rap music, even myself, when you listen to rapping about guns, shooting, and all that kind of stuff, it makes you... It really makes you uh, feel tougher than you are. It gives you this sense of power that you really don't have, right? Even people who are from the hood, right? And really do live that life of gang banging and shooting and all that kind of stuff. It even gives them a sense of power. Holding a gun or talking about um, screwing somebody else's wife or stuff like that. That kind of stuff really gives you some sense of power that you may feel like you don't have. Right? And when you're a person who is, for John Moran, and I don't know him, but if I was in his uh, shoes, if I'm him, I'm making all this money, but... Maybe I wanted to be a rapper or maybe I have all this money and he has money that I will never have. But you have all this money, but you're still losing in the playoffs. You're still not considered the best player in the world. You still keep failing. That music will give you some kind of, I'm that dude. Yeah, I know I'm not doing this, but I, I keep that thing on me. I, I keep that thing on me, though. And I, I've been there. I, I went through that not even long ago. I'm glad he's getting it young, but I hope he doesn't mess it up for himself because it's a shame to have to lose that much money. And he's going to have to change his friend group. One thing I did as I moved out, one thing I noticed is that I was getting really bad before I, I moved out of my home city. <clears throat> I noticed I was getting really bad. <clears throat> I was starting to listen to certain kind of music. I was starting to talk different. I was starting to wear the grills. I was starting to do a lot of things different um, that was going to lead me down a bad path. <clears throat> because I noticed I started wanting to be more violent. I start wanting to fight people. Um, and it was just because of the music I was listening to because I wanted to have some sense of power because I'm a square. Y'all can see, y'all can hear it in my voice. For the most part, I'm a square. And so 
I wanted to be like, yeah, I want to be a thug. I want to be this. I want to be that. Because I want to have, I want to feel like I got that power. And I was working around people who wanted that same thing. And I'm so glad I got out of that life. Um, but that's just how I feel what's going on with John Morant. Now let's move over to Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa is a, 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 a person who claims they're a lesbian. Um, I don't know if she is or not. Don't care. But she's also going through something I went through. Um, the sexuality battle, right? Because here's what's so thing about the LGBTQIA+. You know? The thing about them is... And I don't want to say them. The, the thing about people who want to be a part of that group or want to be associated with that group, the thing that happens with them is... It's, it's about being a part of something. When you come out and say, I'm gay, you become part of something. Because it's weird. Th- because as a straight person, right? If you're a straight person, a straight person who's just living life, you're not a part of anything. There's no straight alliance out there. There's no straight group. We're just, we just walk around the streets and we pay bills and live life. But for some reason, when you say you're gay, you get to put on a rainbow shirt, which I thoroughly just don't enjoy. I hate that the rainbow has to only represent that. Um, but it is what it is. But you put on a rainbow shirt. You say, "I'm gonna turn that down." I don't like that talking. So you just get my voice for a second. Well, I'll turn it way down. Um, but the one thing that happens is you become part of a group, part of an acceptance. So if I can, me personally, if I came out as gay, you know, I'm gonna get some people who I feel different. I'll feel special. I feel like I'm a part of something that not everybody's a part of. Because even as people were happy to believe, a large percentage of the population is not does not claim to be homosexual or lesbian or um, transsexual, right? Or be transgender. They don't believe that, right? Um, <clears throat> so you do become part of this niche, right? It's kind of like being, I would say cosplay is bigger, but I could imagine it's something like, and I'm not trying to equate the two, but I'm just giving an example. It'd be like being a cosplay person or somebody who's an anime. You're in a small minority of people, right? And that's why you always hear people say, well, I like anime before it was cool. I was gay before it was cool, you know? And that's why I think some people run to this, run to that group because it does make you feel special. And I said it was my own experience. I remember at one point in my life, I was really down and I became part of this asexual group, right? (laughs) asexual meaning you don't find any sexual attraction and i didn't to be honest for a couple of years i didn't find sexual attraction but that's because i was going through my own things right <clears throat> and so i joined this group the lgbtqia plus right and uh i felt like i was a part of something i was i was i was in a facebook group i was in a chat i would chat with other asexuals we have a good conversation i just felt like i was a part of something something i could talk to some of the, the people differently about and I think with Jojo Siwa, <clears throat> you can see how she's changed. She went from this goofy, oofy girl. And this is what happened with child actors. They can switch and have some you know, issues going on. But she went from this happy, goey kind of person to kind of a hat, backwards hat, black shirt, chill, talking like this. I'm just trying to get over life. I just... She said something weird the other day, and I'm going to have to kind of say it. <clears throat> and this is another thing about being part of this group. <clears throat> she says she's super famous, right? But she says she can't have gay sex in a parking lot. She can't have gay sex in her car. She can't have gay sex at a park because she's so famous. Um, some people have said that she's not that famous. She's famous, but she ain't like, whoa, Taylor Swift famous. Most people wouldn't recognize her. I wouldn't. If she walked past me, I wouldn't know who she was. But I would really have to, like, know her face. But I don't. But she said she she said that it sucks that she has to have sex in the privacy of her own house. What? You don't want to have sex in the privacy of your own home? This notion that having sex in a park or having sex in the car or having sex in a bathroom it's just goofy that is a porn and driven fantasy i understand when they get hot and heavy but where do you learn that from you learn that from porn you learn that from movie scenes that have sex in it because they give you you get all this perfect lighting and this music and you this special moment i've done that stuff man i'm telling you i've done stuff in the car i've done stuff in the bathroom 
it's much better to do it in the privacy of your own home because one number one that's respectful to other people you don't need to be having sex in your car where other people can see you you don't need to be having sex in a public restroom that's disgusting okay you need to be having sex in the privacy of your own home because it's supposed to be between you and your significant other your spouse it's not supposed to be this nasty grimy thing that pornography and movies make it seem like it's not supposed to be this hot and sweaty well it can be hot and sweaty but it is, it's not supposed to be this it's not supposed to be a disgusting thing that people make it out to be that when you get done you're like oh that was nasty no that's that's just perpetuated by porn and so jojo sweet see you see why <laughs> i think i call jojo her being into all of this stuff just shows me how much her, her mind has been. She wants to be gay. She wants to be a lesbian. She wants to be different. She wants to have sex in a park instead of in her house. She's in that place that we all go through. Some worse than others. Some people, and when I say go through, I don't mean everybody goes through this. Some people, go, they go through a change and they're like, mm, don't want to have sex. Nope, I'll wait till marriage. And they do so. It's not all of us don't go through the same things. Thank God. Because we need people out there who aren't doing the same things we are. <clears throat> um, and who else? <clears throat> and the last person I'm going to talk about. Doja Cat and Sam Smith. <clears throat> Doja Cat. Who's been famous since she was young. Uh, she's been making music since she's young. But she got, she got famous pretty young. <clears throat> I've already talked about Sam Smith. But I'll say this about him. <clears throat> I don't really think he's worshipping Satan and all that. But I do think he's in a place where he's trying to garner a lot of attention and be different it's this point where we all come through where we all feel like man i just want to be free and i think that's where he's at he just kind of wanted to do anything and everything uh, put on women's panties put on women's pantyhose uh be non-binary he just wants to be free from any attachments because he feels like those are chains and i've been there too you know I, a lot of the stuff i speak from my own experience i don't know y'all's if you want to tell me put it in your down in the comments but one thing um i used to do too I had a point in my life I got really sexually deviant. I tried a lot of different sexual things because I just wanted to be free. I, I, I talked earlier in the last video about discipline. I didn't want that anymore. I didn't want to live pure. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be as disgusting as the person as I could be. And I mean that sincerely. True. That's sincerely true. I wanted to do all the sexual stuff. Everything. I wanted to try a lot of different fetishes. I did. I didn't go like, I didn't wear women's clothing. I, I was never into that. Um, but I wanted to do a lot of different things and a lot of different things that I would never thought I would do. And a lot of things that I'm even embarrassed to talk about, right? I'm embarrassed that I've ever done any of these things. Um, but that's where sexual deviancy would take you. This whole sexual freedom and everything, it'll take you to a place where you believe that the chains, you really are letting go of the chains, but you're really just putting yourself in more of a box. You are. It's so hard to explain that to people, but people want to have all these kinks and all these fetishes. And we talked about role play in my other video. If you've seen that, where I talk about how weird role play is, people want to have sex with strangers. They want to have sex with their teachers, their cops. They want to have sex with uh, their boss. It's just it's because you it's because you can't. You want it so bad because it's not. If it was cool and it wasn't morally wrong or anything to have sex with anybody you want, I guarantee you people wouldn't care. They wouldn't see me feel sexually free. It's be only because they know it's not right. But we all, some of us go through the stages in life where we want to be just wrong. We want to live dirty. We want to smoke. We want to, uh, we want to go get a billion tattoos. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We want to go get a billion tattoos. We want to go, we want to go ride motorcycles. We want to jump off of planes. And I'm not saying all that stuff is bad, but what I am saying is that we all, some, not all of us, some of us go through this rebel stage where we just want to go against the system but once you get older you realize that it's good to have these disciplines it's good to not want to go have sex in a, your car it's good to not want to get butt naked in public because it makes you feel free no it just makes you feel horny <clears throat> and once you learn to get past these things your life will be so much better because trust me when you get into marriage and you want to do all these secret fantasy things and you realize how hard it is to have true intimacy with your spouse because you're so used to being so deviant it's gonna be tough buddy all right, moving on to the last one. Doja Cat. Doja Cat's been weird for a long time. I've watched her videos. I've seen how she acts in live streams. And Doja Cat is another one of those people. And I, I've listened to a lot of Doja Cat music. And almost every one of her songs talks about having sex. And I know as far as what she says, she's not really a sexually active person. But she talks about sex all the time in her music. 
And I think with Doja Cat, even when she did with at the uh, um, with the, the Met Gala, where she was a cat. Doja Cat is one of those other people who also don't want to have restraints. She doesn't go maybe as far as Sam Smith does. She doesn't get like she's sexual in her music, like really sexual. But I haven't really seen her like go out like out of her way in her concerts and stuff to be sexual. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe y'all can do that. But I haven't seen that. But she's trying to be more freedom in a, another kind of way. She dresses how she wants. She does all these crazy things. She talks very weird in her live stream. She'll post weird stuff on Twitter. Um, she's just a person who is like a little kid. He's like a little kid. Is like, I'm just going to do this stuff because I think it's fine. It's funny. It's, it's goofy. I just don't want to have, I don't want to be serious all the time. It's just one of those kind of people. Um, and I think at the same time, she's doing, once again, and we all, I guess I'm saying all, we, some of us go through this where we want to be like kid-like. We want to dress up all the time. Like people, we want to, we want to be different. We want to, um, we don't want to be, and I'm not saying she isn't a serious person because I don't know her. It's like, I don't know any of these people. Um, but sometimes the way you betray yourself, there has to be some truth to that. As much as we want to say, oh, they could be faking and acting. There's some truth to it. Even, even if we talk about little Nas and even though most of us don't believe he's gay, the truth to it is that he's not not that he's gay the truth to it is that he'll do whatever he needs to to make money that's the truth behind it so with doja cat the thing behind her there is a part of her that wants to be childlike there's a part of her who may not have gotten that she may have had a terrible family you didn't i'm not going to go into all that because i don't know but she may have want to stay in this childlike state and just be goofy all the time and it's cool but sometimes i feel like she could she could do much more because the older you get you can't stay childlike all the time because as adults we're not always trying to appeal to children you know what i mean it's one thing if i'm teaching kids like hey you know if i'm at a, if i'm teaching math and all this other kind of stuff or i'm teaching about finances or how to take care of yourself when you get a job that's one thing but to act like a child with children is very a disservice to children you shouldn't have to talk like a child to talk to children does that make sense you are the adult and to become childlike like you're one of them it does a disservice to them and she has a bunch of young girls that follow her and i feel like she could be doing more for them um but once again she could be going through some stuff but there's some truth there's some reason she wants to stay like this and some of us go through this where we want to be a child except for us it doesn't look like dressing up in a cat suit so for us, it may be getting drunk all the time. For us, it may be getting super high. For us, it may uh, be partying all the time, having sex all the time, driving fast cars, driving past the speed limit, doing goofy stuff like that, making pranks in Walmart. That's how we stay childlike, stay goofy, right? But at some point, we got to grow up. You can't do that forever. And there's no nothing to gain in that. As much as the movies and everything, people want to make you to believe, that being childlike forever is something to aspire to be, it's not. We have a responsibility to raise these kids. We have a responsibility to help others. And if we choose to stay childlike all the time, we're doing a disservice to the people. I'm gonna say this, and I'll probably say this a lot more from here on. Life is about relationships. And we all have a responsibility to help each other in some way or fashion. I know all of us don't have the ability to speak, not all of us have the ability to write, draw, paint. Some of us don't have any skills at all, right? But if you can just be somebody to your mother, your brother, your sister, just a friend down the street, your next door neighbor, that person at the mall you see, that person you see at the grocery store, they may need you one day. And yes, it's, 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 you have a responsibility to try to help somebody if you can, or you've gone through something they may not have gone through and you can help them through that. But to just stay in a childlike way and to just, just to appeal to children, it doesn't make any sense. I'll never understand these YouTube channels and these YouTube videos that try to appeal to kids and they talk like kids and they act like kids. I work with kids and I'm telling you, I don't talk like a kid to a kid. I don't. I'm always an adult in every situation. And I'm glad the people I work for and the people... Um, that help take care of these kids from social workers to everything we all understand we don't talk to the children like we're kids ourselves we don't go hey billy 
you want to go play? We don't do goofy stuff like that because it doesn't make any sense. We're not kids. What we do is we look at Billy and say, hey, Billy, this is what you do. Here's what you don't do. Hey, do you need help coloring? Hey, did you, hey, did you need help with this math problem? Hey, are you understanding this? Do you need some more privacy? That's the kind of stuff you do with kids. You don't, hey, Billy, <laughs> you want a carrot? That's cartoonish buffoonish stuff. You're not, what, it sounds stupid. That's what cartoons do. We're not cartoon characters. We're here to help these kids to be safe and to protect them also from other people who are kind of trying to take advantage of them. As much as y'all don't want to take that kind of stuff serious, it is. There's evil people out here. And our job is to protect these children and to teach these children. So for Doja Cat, if she wants to stay in this childlike thing, cool. But she's doing a disservice to all the young women and all the young men who look to her. That's all I'm saying. Peace.